Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and I thought I would sit down and do another video for you guys. Let me get a sip of my water first. And I guess I need to clarify to people this is calorie-free, sugar-free flavoring. It's not Kool-Aid. But let's talk a little bit about cutting. I've had a lot of people, you know, who've questioned why I'm cutting and there's some blowback, you know. And, and what I'm finding, largely the community has been very supportive, and I think most people get it. I've had enormous amounts of very positive comments uh, by many people who are like, wow. Uh, and I've had people come in who haven't been here for years and they've been like, uh, wow, you made big changes. I've had other people come through and go, man, I used to be a hater. And these are well-established uh, little channels. And they're like, I used to be a hater, but you're actually starting to look pretty good, blah. Huh? And I think that's really the point. Uh, that's an important part of all of this is that if, and I, I want to discuss the health end too, but if I want my message and my ideas and what I do to get out there further, I simply have to look the part more. It's not enough to be strong. It's not enough to have big numbers. It's not enough to do these things because we do live in a superficial world. We do live in a world where appearances matter. Uh, and people say, well, you can't judge a book by its cover, but we all do, don't we? We do. It's human nature. And you can't turn that part of human nature off. This is understood. So from a marketing perspective, an outreach perspective, uh, yes, I do need to get leaner. I need to get a lot leaner. I am going to have to get, get pretty ripped. Uh, you know, not contest bodybuilder. And I think that's where people are misunderstanding. Even things I've said in the past, like I've tried to tell people like 10 or 11% body fat is not unhealthy. Okay. And that's where we, we need to be clear. Uh, when I've talked about people being so lean that it's unhealthy, we're talking about contest lean. We're talking about 5%, 6%, maybe 7% body fat. Yeah, that's unhealthy. And we know that's unhealthy. Okay. But that's not what we're talking about. But I also think people don't realize how lean 10% is. There's a lot of guys out there who think they're 10% because some digital scale or some calipers show them at 10 or 11%, but they're 14 or 15. Okay. And, and again, we do need to understand that difference. Um, and I'm not promoting that anyone get to unhealthy body fats, but by that same token, body fat is not a good thing, particularly if your total weight is up because I carry a lot of muscle because I've built a large amount of muscle over the years, if I want to be at a, a healthy body weight, and let's talk about health and setting good examples here, because I think that's a big part of, of the big problem in the community out there is the lack of figures promoting actually trying to be healthy, okay? People have really sacrificed their health uh, to such a massive extent, and I see it all over social media. I mean, how many people have, have major health problems? I mean, how many of them are diabetics? How many of them need CPAPs? All these lifters out here, we're, we're not setting a good example with that. And even when I was up at 240, I had people say, well, I felt you looked better at 240. Yeah, you had some extra fat, but you had a big squat and all this other stuff. But it's like, do you think that's healthy? I mean, does anyone really think that a five foot nine man in his 40s, that it's healthy to be 240? Okay. And by 5'9", we mean six foot on the internet, right? Internet stats, that's six foot. That's not a, a healthy at all. And it really isn't. You know, uh, it, and it's not the weight we should be at. And I didn't feel healthy when I was at that weight. Uh, and I was noticing sleep apnea type problems. And I was struggling to breathe. And that's not a good situation to be in. And that's not what we should be promoting. So, you know, we, we have all this that the parents matter, but by that same token, why do we need to be so resistant to that? This is something that, that people say, well, you're flip-flopping. And yeah, I have actually flip-flopped on this because I don't like that because it's an accusation of, no, we evolve over time with certain things or we go with the evidence. It's not flip-flopping. That's following the evidence and being logical and reasonable. In this case, yes, it is a flip-flop. It is in this particular case but I feel that it's warranted. I feel like the previous stance that I took with that 
when I look at it, isn't that just a way of promoting a, a, a bravado and trying to be attempting to be hyper masculine for the sake of, of insecurity in our parents? Look, guys, there's no need for any of us to do any of that. OK. You don't have to be hyper masculine with something to prove all the time to be a man. You just don't. It's not necessary. And at the end of the day, there's nothing wrong with a man saying, you know what, I do want to look good. You know what, I want women to like how I look. I want to look impressive. Now, I will be the first to tell you that it's that's been a fake image sent out there that you're just going to draw all these women because you have a nice physique. That's, that's, that's not true. And you probably will get hit on by more dudes than girls when you have a nice physique. That's reality. Okay? That's reality. But it's kind of funny. I, I, and you know what? I'm not even going to go there. I'm going to leave that alone. I'm just going to leave it. I'm not going to call anyone out. I'm not going to harass anybody. So I'll just leave this in. I'm going to not be a dick. All right. But I don't think it's necessary for us to do that. But then we come to that other problem. How much of the strength world has gone the other direction that it's okay to just be fat? It's okay to be obese. It's okay to be at these high body weights. And they're like, well, it doesn't matter. They can move all this weight. Yeah, but that's, they're, they're dying. They're dying. Just like these bodybuilders. We talk about bodybuilding being a death cult. They're all dropping like flies. How many of the strength athletes? Yeah. How many of the strength athletes are really unhealthy because they are carrying so much body fat? What, what's, what's the price for that? And what example is that setting? What example is that setting for the next generation? We live in a society with an obesity crisis and an obesity epidemic. So now the people who are lifting and exercising and working out are then going to glorify the same thing and promote it. Do we really think this is sending the right message? Do you think this is helping people? I don't think this is helping people. I don't think that's making the world a better place. Okay. If anything, those of us who are lifting and into fitness, we should be promoting a better lifestyle. Okay. We should be promoting people making an actual effort to be healthy. Uh, and instead, I feel like more and more of it's just glorified unhealthy lifestyles. It really has. And I'm trying to set a better example. That, and that, that's what it comes down to. It is simply a case of me saying, as an imperfect human, who has made a lot of mistakes in my life. I'm trying to set a better example. And that example won't always be perfect because I'm a flawed human being just like all of you. But we've got to make the effort. We have to make the effort. And I think it's important for those of us with an outreach and a following to not do that. And I see way, way too much of the opposite. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I'll talk to you guys next time.